There's a new prodigy in the pool, you guys. Romania's David Popovich is causing a ton of excitement in the world of swimming right now, as the youngster has recently broken a long-standing Michael Phelps record in the 100 meters, which many of the sports observers thought might never be broken. Today, we're discussing Popovich becoming the youngest man to break an individual record since the days of Phelps. Stay with us. Let's jump straight in then. What's going on? 17-year-old swimming sensation David Popovich has recently become the owner of the 100 meter freestyle world record, shaving 0.05 seconds off the previous record in the process. He is also the owner of one of the best nicknames in the whole of swimming, Chlorine Daddy. He became the youngest man since Michael Phelps to break an individual world record, which tells you a little something about what the next 10 years or so men's swimming might look like. Popovich beat Cesar Cielo's 13-year-old record on August 13th at the European Championships event in Rome. However, Cielo's record was set during the controversial high-tech swimsuit era, which incidentally came at the same pool in Rome. In breaking the record, he also became the second youngest man to hold the world record in the 100-meter freestyle event, and speaking after his amazing feat, Popovich said it, the world record, wasn't the priority, that's for sure. There was no rush, and I had to be extremely patient about the world record. I mean, if he wasn't even trying, we can't wait to see what he does when he is actively trying to beat the record. Popovich became the youngest man in almost two two decades to break a world record after Michael Phelps unbelievably set his fourth of 29 world records back in 2003. Quite an amazing achievement by the young man. What did you guys make of his performance? What else do we know then? Stay tuned to find out. Along with his incredible performance in the 100 meter freestyle, Popovich also set the fourth fastest time ever in the 200 meters freestyle with a time of 1 minute 42.97 seconds. Had the suit era been banned before it ever got off the ground, Popovich's record would have been the fastest time ever, which again, gives you an idea of what sort of talent we have on our hands right now. Last year, Popovich gave observers a sign of things to come as he posted a 100 meter time which would have been good enough to win him gold in the 2016 Olympics. He was also incredibly close to a podium position in Tokyo in the 200 meters last year, but agonizingly missed out by just two hundredths of a second. He became the youngest man in 15 years to win a world title in Budapest earlier this year, whilst also becoming the first person male or female, to bag both the 100 and 200 meters title at the Worlds since the early 70s. He was expected to go head-to-head -head with Olympic gold medalist Caleb Dressel in the 100 meters at the recent meeting, but the Olympic champ had to pull out through injury. Whatever happens, at just 17 years old, the likelihood is that Popovich keeps getting better and better as he's still about five years off his peak. Do you guys think he will break any more of Phelps' records? Give us your thoughts below. Popovich has also won an award on the back of his record. Record. Stick around. 2022 is coming up all David Popovich. There's no doubt about that. Having just broken the 13-year-old 100-meter freestyle record, the teenager was also handed the Male Swimmer of the Championships award, and rightly so. I mean, there would have been some outrage if a 17-year-old who had just broken the world record for probably the most popular swimming event in the 100 meters freestyle wasn't given the award, to be honest. However, given his recent form, Popovich isn't ready to call it a season. Whilst many of his peers are finished with major meets for the season, the young Romanian is carrying on. Given his age, he's also eligible for the World Junior Swimming Championships, which will be taking place in Lima, Peru at the end of the month, and it's safe to say he will probably win a medal or two there. He's also received high praise recently. After Michael Phelps' former coach Bob Bowman said of him, he knows how to not only go for a race, but go for it in a way so that he uses his energy effectively over the entire distance. Pretty impressive, right? Next up, news from the duel in the pool. Stay with us. Australia and the United States went head-to-head -head on Sunday, with the team from Down Under just missing out on glory. The states are pretty much regarded as the pinnacle when it comes to international swimming and have managed to come out on top, medal-wise, at every Olympic Games since Seoul 88. They are also unbeaten against both Australia and Europe in the duel format in 20 years, quite incredibly. The Aussies gave it their all over this weekend's meet, but just came up short at the Bondi Beach Open water rally, followed by a couple of nights at the Aquatic Center in what was the closest they had come over four editions of the duel in the pool. The U.S. ran out with a 26-point win, besting their opponents 309 to 283. And discussing their performance on Sunday, August 21st, Australian Dolphins coach Rowan Taylor said, We thought we had the opportunity today, but they were too good at the end of the day. They know how to race and they probably do the strategy a little bit better, but we're going to learn. The head-to-head -head between the two nations 
nations has been conspicuous in its absence over the past 15 years, but Taylor went on to say he hopes it would become a more regular fixture on the swimming calendar going forward. The Dolphins have been busy of late, too, having starred at the World Championships in Budapest as well as the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham. We're discussing a young American swimming prodigy now. Don't go anywhere. What is it with Americans and the swimming pool? It seems as though they have a production line of talent which just churns out superstars on a regular basis. And the latest in a long line of young American swimmers aiming for Olympic success is Kayla Hahn. Still only 14 years old, the youngster is thought to have a bright future in the sport and has rocketed up the rankings in the past year or so. Having put in a sensational performance at the Olympic trials last year, Hahn has gone from strength to strength. Her incredible comeback over the last 15 meters of the Wave 400-meter individual medley went viral and was the most watched clip of the 2021 Olympic trials. It was also where she announced herself to the world. Since then, she has appeared at multiple championship meets, but she is still some way off her peers, such as Leah Smith and world-renowned superstar Katie Ledecky. She is obviously talented, but it's easy to forget she is still just 14 years old. Smith beat her by nine seconds last December in the 400-meter individual medley at the U.S. Open, whilst Ledecky beat her by eight seconds at the national championships earlier this summer. She was actually in the lane next to Ledecky, and the seven-time Olympic gold medalist won hearts and minds by reaching across lanes at the end to shake the teenager's hand. Do you think she can go all the way? And finally, some heartwarming news. Chrissy Parham, who represented Team USA at the 1992 Olympics, bagging gold in the process, has decided to give the gift of life. After recently hearing about the plight of fellow swimmer Missy Franklin and her father who was stricken with kidney failure, the former Olympian decided to donate one of her own. Franklin's mother, D.A. Franklin, has posted a message on Facebook which read, Our family is looking for a Hail Mary as we race against time. My husband, Dick, has end-stage kidney failure. If you know anyone who is interested in possibly donating a kidney, please have them contact me. Param then decided to do what many people would never even consider, donating one of her own kidneys after admitting she was moved by the post. Of course, this goes above and beyond what would be expected of anyone and kind of puts everything into perspective. Arizona's Hall of Fame swimming coach Frank Bush, who knows both parties, said of Param, to say someone's brave or generous or whatever, this is in a different category altogether. And of course, he's right. Nobody would have been expecting someone to have actually offered up their kidney, but we guess this is just an example of the good social media can do, especially in an era when it is is so often lamented. What do you make of Param's amazing gift? As always, thanks for dropping in on us today and remember to tune in again next time. We will be discussing all sorts of other bits and pieces and why not do us a solid by liking and sharing today's video, whilst also subscribing to our channel so you don't miss out on more cool videos in the future. Bye!